is tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTut and welcome back to this Wix tutorial series. Today we're taking a look at social posts, creating and sharing them. To create a social post, simply start at your Wix dashboard and choose marketing tools. From there, choose social posts on the left hand side. You can then either create a new post from scratch uh, or you can choose from a pre-made template, which is what I'm going to do here, such as this one, for example. Once you've selected your starting point, you have four options for editing this. You can change the overall design by clicking on design and choosing one of the other pre-made examples for you. For example, I quite like this quote of the day option here, or perhaps you can go for this sort of floral arrangement. You can then edit items individually if you'd like to, such as the background, choosing a new color, a different photo to replace that with, or a pattern of your choice. And you can edit the text by selecting the text tool and choosing new text to add. For example, we could add a minimal title down the bottom, like so. Or by editing text that is already on the page. Finally, you can choose the stickers option to add stickers or upload your own. So I like this background, but I want to bring that pencil back in, for example, and we can just pop that in the top right corner. Once you're happy with your social post, it's time to share it. To do so, select the next button in the top right hand corner and to share to Facebook, all you need to do is make sure Facebook is selected here and choose a caption. and then simply select next. You may be asked to log into your Facebook page if you haven't already done so, but simply select the Facebook page you'd want and then hit the share button. To share your social post on Instagram, simply select the Instagram option here and here you'll have to enter in your phone number. Make sure you have the right country selected. Type in your phone number and hit send. This will send a text message to your phone. Once that text message has been received, it depends on your operating system and how you interact with that. For iOS, you have to save the image to your phone, open Instagram and share. But for Android, you can simply share your post to Instagram directly from the browser. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time on TipTap. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.